Hey, all you peaceful activists out there. I am joining you for our first letter from the book, Peace, Love, Action, Everyday Acts of Goodness from A to Z. And A is for appreciate. Look at this beautiful artwork. And there's a picture of who this story is about. Her name is Autumn Peltier. Public notice, do not drink the water. This sign is one of many posted near Autumn Peltier's home. It refers to the tap water. Its message has made her worry, cry, get mad, and speak out as a water advocate. Autumn Peltier is Anishinaabe from Wikwemekong First Nation unceded territory on Manitoulin Island in the Great Lakes. She lives surrounded by water. In the indigenous worldview, water is sacred. It is alive and has a spirit. Water needs to be treated with dignity and respect. It might seem natural then that the issue of water is important to Autumn. Embedded in her First Nations culture is a code of respect for all living things. Autumn's mother has taught her the seven grandfather teachings and the importance of water since Autumn was a toddler. Autumn's great aunt, Josephine Madamon, was a respected elder and water walker. She walked more than 250,000 kilometers around all five Great Lakes to draw attention to and create awareness of the importance of water. With the wisdom of her culture and with inspiration and mentorship from her mother and great aunt, Autumn is a water warrior. Starting at a community meeting when she was only eight years old, Autumn has taken up this role with clarity, strength, and poise. Wearing traditional clothing, incorporating traditional language and song, and weaving the ancient wisdom of her people into her speeches, Autumn has spoken up on behalf of the water. Autumn has carried her message far and wide. In 2015, she and a fellow youth water advocate represented Canada at the Children's Climate Conference in Sweden. Following that, Autumn expressed her concern to Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, over the expansion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. She has been nominated twice for the Children's International Peace Prize for her advocacy of worldwide clean drinking water. And on World Water Day in 2018, at only 13 years old, she spoke to the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Standing on a stool to reach the microphone, Autumn Peltier told the General Assembly to warrior up when it comes to protecting clean drinking water for future generations. As Autumn Peltier says, Mother Earth has been in existence for billions of years. She doesn't need us, but we need her. Now on the last page, it gives us some ideas of what you can do, what we can do. What are some things in nature that are easy to take for granted, but if you didn't have them, they'd be hard to live without? The second question is this, how does appreciation grow? What are some ways to show appreciation and what can you do today to show appreciation? The next one is uh, talking about our watersheds to find out where your local watershed is, find out the source of your drinking water, and find out where your sewer water goes. It's all connected and it all matters. Um, given that uh, in these crazy times in the world we're living in, perhaps uh, you might be learning from home and you could go on a little field trip. This one says, view a water treatment plant or a sewage treatment plant. You could go take a little trip and learn more about what happens to our water. You could participate in a cleanup project. If you have water nearby, a river, a lake, a pond, go down and clean it up and see what kind of ripple effect that has. Someone might drive by and see you cleaning and they're gonna be inspired to go do it themselves. The next thing says, count how many times in one day you come into contact with water. Celebrate World Water Day on March 22nd. Celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day on the second Monday in October. And lastly, it says, the seven grandfather teachings are a part of Native American culture that provide ethical stepping stones. You could learn more about them while you're learning from home. 
Did you know two things? There is the same amount of water on earth now as there was when the earth was formed. And did you know nearly 97% of the world's water is salty or otherwise undrinkable? And that means that the 3% that is drinkable, we need to warrior, warrior up and take care of. If you are passionate about that topic, you can go learn more. That was our letter for the day. A is for appreciate. Go make it grow in your life and go do something to take action to make the world a better place. It's in your hands and it's in all of our hands.